there's something that we do every day, and most of the time, we don't even think about it. Decision making. That's what leaders do. Decision making is an art form and a constant part of the human experience. But the real trick to mastering decision making is how can I make good or great decisions constantly? Well, let me pinpoint a few things for you. You need time, you need knowledge, and you need to understand that there are consequences behind every decision that you make. So with time, just like everything in this world, you need time. You need to have patience. No one is going to get decision making overnight. Decision making is a learning experience. And in that experience, we will get the tools to refine our decision making process. That way, we can make better decisions. And I know that everyone won't get it at the same time. However, it's a personal journey through your personal decision making process. With decision making, you need knowledge. Knowledge is power. And I always say, in order to do the best work, you need the best resources. And knowledge is definitely one of those necessary resources. In order to make decisions, you need information. You need to inform yourself about that decision. What does that problem mean to yourself, to your organization? Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, that decision will not only shape your organization, but your life. And the members that will come after you will be affected by the decisions that you make. So I know it sounds really a lot like a lot of pressure, but the best decisions are informed decisions. So with time and knowledge, you get the time to do research. Think about it. Don't make hasty decisions if you don't have to. The best thing about time is it's free. So use it. I know we all like free things. With time, you can research, think about perspective pros and cons, and talk to other people about your decision that you're about to make. That way, you can make an informed decision because informed decisions are the best decisions that we can make. Now, consequences. And when you say consequences, everyone kind of has a little chill that goes down their back. The word consequence has a bad connotation. We rarely use the word consequence with positive things. We usually use it like, those people broke the law, and their consequence was punitive measures, be that jail time, community service. But we rarely say, someone took the extra time to study for a test, and their consequence was a higher possibility of getting a higher grade on that test. And that's the thing. Consequences can be a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Consequences don't have to be bad all of the time. Now let me give you a few examples. As a leader, you have to use all of these tools in order to make decisions. When I first received the position of student body president, I had to make a decision. There was a position open for an executive secretary, and I knew who I had in mind, who I wanted to have that position. They were devoted, they were organized, and they were always willing to help. So I approached that person, I asked them, hey, would you like to have this position? I would really want you to fill that position. And they said yes. The next day, a former highly ranked member of our organization came up to me and said, uh, you know, I want that position. And it put me in an awkward position because should I go with my first mind and go with the person that I know is going to do this job to the best of the ability and that is really and truly the best person for this job? Or should I buckle under pressure and give the job to someone who I knew was too busy 
and couldn't be there most of the time. Now, I stuck to my guns and I told her, I said, I already promised a job to this person and they're the best person for the job, but I thank you for your service in the organization. But the funny thing about the whole situation is, it came out that there wasn't even a position open for that job. I know it's funny, you know, putting myself on the line, my credibility, but the thing about it is, I stood up for what I thought was right. The thing about decisions is, sometimes the right decision isn't the most popular decision, but you have to do it anyway. You have to think about the organization as a whole. And that brings me to this. Decision making is an art form that will be refined throughout your whole life. We love it when we make great decisions, but we rarely evaluate why we make bad decisions. We usually say things like, oh, I won't do that again, or oh, that was one time, it was just one time, I'm not, I don't know how that happened. But we rarely take the time out to evaluate, why did I make that decision? Is it because I didn't inform myself? Was it a hasty decision? These are the key opportunities for you to refine your decision-making process. And over time, if you take the time out to evaluate those positions and those opportunities, your decision-making process will become better and better and better. So decision-making is an art form that must be mastered and it's being refined throughout our whole life. So I charge you, dare to make informed decisions. Disrupt hasty decisions. And defy bad, uninformed.